unknown to many, in 1902, an amazing discovery was made in Oregon State, that is still on display today. In the beautiful part of Oregon State known as the Willamette Valley, a man by the name of Ellis Hughes located what is now known as the Willamette Meteorite. Near the present city of West Lynn, Hughes found the meteorite on the private land owned by the Oregon Iron and Steel Company. Determined to claim the find as his own, Hughes spent the next 90 days hauling the heavy meteorite on a wooden car lashed with ropes, to his own land some three quarters of a mile away. Somehow, the Oregon Iron and Steel Company became aware of the illegal transport of the meteorite, and after winning the case in Supreme Court, they were awarded ownership of the meteorite. Then, in 1905, the meteorite was sold to a man by the name of William Dodge for the amount of $26,000. It was then placed on display at the Lewis and Clark Centennial Exposition. After that, the Willamette meteorite was donated to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, where it remains to this day. During the inspection of the original excavation site, on the property of the Oregon Iron and Steel Company, it was noted that there was no trace whatsoever, of an impact crater. This could only mean one thing, the massive meteorite, had to have been left behind long ago, by some kind of natural occurrence. Most believed that glacial activity was to blame. But then, the discovery of the Great Missoula Flood, that occurred during the end of the last ice age, answered the question, of where the meteorite's original impact was located. It was determined, that the Willamette meteorite was moved by the enormous flood, long ago, from the area of western Canada, or the present state of Montana, to where it was found by Mr. Hughes in 1902. The meteorite is still in the record books, for the largest to be found, in the United States. It is a beautiful specimen, with deep crevasses, and cavities, caused by weathering, and the high-speed entry long ago. Weighing in at some 32,000 pounds, it is classified as a Type 3 iron meteorite, made of 91% iron and 7.62% nickel. There are also small traces of cobalt, and phosphorus. The size of the Willamette meteorite is stunning. At 10 feet high, by 6 and a half feet wide, by 4 and a quarter feet deep, this is truly one of the most amazing discoveries from the beautiful state of Oregon. Thank you for joining us. What is the largest meteorite you have ever seen? Let us know by leaving a comment below in the comment section. We appreciate you stopping by. Please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon below, to be among the first to see all our new uploads at My World of Videos